Hi everyone, Michael here with Hobby Addicts, and I wanted to make a video here to show you how to shim the differential for the EMBT or any of the EMB uh, series LC racing cars uh, and show you kind of the reason why you would need to first off is uh, here is the stock uh, differential and this is the outer differing. You can see the, the teeth here are pretty, uh, pretty destroyed. Uh, and then this is the bevel gear that it's meshed with and you can see an entire tooth is missing there, right there. Uh, so with a stock one, I replaced it with this HD uh, diff gear from LC Racing. And uh, I thought I initially I was gonna have to shim it, but it turns out it's actually meshed really well uh, without any shimming. And I wanna show you how I determined this. So um, I have the everything reassembled. I'm gonna go ahead and close this back up. And basically what you're gonna do in order to determine if shims needed is first you're gonna go put pressure left and right and make sure that you don't have too much play in these out drives. And then as long as you don't, then you're gonna move on to step two, which is you need to hold both out drives and then you need to hold this drive cup here on the top and make sure it has enough play in there. Uh, this is similar to the meshing between like a pinion and a spur gear where you need a little bit of play uh, just to make sure that you don't get excessive friction between the bevel gear and the outer diff uh, gear. And then the last step is gonna be, you need to make sure everything spins freely. So when I spin these out drives, uh, I get a nice, free spin between all of the gears and that's exactly what you want now uh if you let's say over shimmed uh everything you i want to show you exactly what would happen there so um we'll take this one here looks like that's the one so this is a a point one millimeter shim i'm just going to stick it here on the outside of this bearing so this is a 0.1 millimeter shim that I just uh, put on here. We'll close everything back up. It doesn't really like it because it was already meshed perfectly the way it was. So one of the red flags is it's gonna be really hard to close things uh, because there's no more room left in the case. Uh, I wasn't able to really close it all the way, but I'm just gonna go ahead and throw, go through the checks. So left and right, you should feel nothing because this is obviously over tightened. I'm gonna hold this and check here. This seems fine. So, so far check one and two are good, but where it's gonna fail is when I go to spin, I'm getting excessive resistance. And because it's not spinning freely, this is gonna cause uh, issues with your power to the rear and uh, potentially cause additional wear on the gears. Probably less of an issue, you're gonna have more of an issue when these are sitting loose. And that's what you really wanna do is, if this is going back and forth a lot, you need to get rid of that because that is definitely gonna damage your gears. If it's too tight, what's gonna happen is you're gonna lose power to the rear because this isn't spinning freely and these are basically jammed inside there. Um, so if you do need to add shims, Make sure you don't over tighten it. Um, and then I'd love to be able to show you how you do shim this uh, if it's needed, but because of the fact it doesn't, uh, I can't really do a, a live demonstration. So instead I'm gonna go ahead and link to you a channel that shows what it looks like if it does need to be shimmed and hopefully that will help. Uh, but uh, I hope this video is helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. And uh, thank you so much for watching.